Yo, what's up my dubious viewers? your boy Moist Mirror Scenario, and as you can see here, I have the strongest punching bag in Beyblade Metal Fight, or at least one of them. Could be stronger, of course, with Kraken Kraken, but right now, it is Kraken Leviathan, or Killerkin Revisor, with the Metal Stone Face Custom on D125, Rubber Sharp, and I have a couple of different attack types, custom attack types here, that I'm going to be putting against it, to see which of them is the strongest in terms of pure attack potential against this thing right here uh, a couple of these have fought uh, bay like this or similar already as in cracking leviathan but we're gonna see right now with the rubber sharp to see if they can uh they can really knock this thing out so i've got five battles planned out and i'm gonna do five battles with each of them they have five chances to knock this out we'll see which one can win first to five not first to five Whoever gets the most knockouts out of five battles is crowned the winner in this video. Gonna go ahead and start off with the first combo here being Cudgel Ogre Pond with the Metal Face Heavy. We got the Metal Disc 105 and an R2F. I'm going to be using what I think should be the strongest uh, combo for each of these wheels. And right now I think this is it for Ogre Pond. Very low to the ground and super uh, dense and focused on that one point there at the bottom having all this low low weight to the ground so hopefully that keeps it sturdy being so much lighter and smaller than many other things and uh helps to get some good knockouts here against uh killikin revisor so guys here we go with the modded x launcher as well to launch our metal fight phase let's see if cudgel ogre pond has what it takes three two one go shoot oh my bad each one goes shoot and go shoot. <laughs> it got some pretty good collisions early on, but not quite enough to get the KO that time around. Sorry for the stadium being off center. And an unfortunate self KO, but that's not going to count there for the five battles. Unfortunately, it did make some contact. It was pretty light, but it was contact, so that's going to be a zero out of two so far. Hopefully, we can get something here if I can launch. And there we go. Uh, it ended up racing out of the stadium afterwards, but it got a knockout first. One go shoot. Yeah. shoot. So far it is one four. So hopefully we can get a two for five at least. It won't be a passing score, but it'll at least be something for this uh, super tiny Beyblade. Granted, this combo it's fighting is twice its weight. So, if you twinkle, shoot. And go shoot. My bad. If you twinkle, shoot. And go shoot. My bad, once again. If you twinkle, shoot. And go shoot. And it just got dinked right away so definitely far out of its weight class but uh maybe i'll do better next time to be fair this <laughs> this bay is far above the weight class of ogre pond even with the metal disc attachment so unfortunate anyways let's move on to the next of these battles all right guys let's see if the next bay can uh win this time and here we're bringing back the charge wheel which hasn't been back since the first video i did on it uh, here I've got it on 85 with a metal disc attached to it. Hopefully this doesn't just explode, but uh, we'll see. We also got a rubber flat on here. This should be a more controlled combo and probably hopefully better at uh, getting the knockout here. Got the Kronos wheel on it. So the full combo is metal face heavy, uh, charge Kronos, metal disc 85, a rubber flat. Going for battle number one, one let it rip and let it rip. And a nice race around the stadium into a knockout. Each one, go shoot. 
and go sleep. Oh, and a clean knockout right there. It's pretty late into the match, but still good. The turn goes shoot battle number three here. And the toilet rip. And a very early knockout off a little bounce from the wall. Do go shoot? Battle number four. Rip. Ah, oh, got knocked out before it could start really moving that time around. Do let it rip? And battle number five. Ah, oh, came for a nice sweep attack, but got deflected right away. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and move on to the next bay this video. Here we go now, we're moving up another bit of a weight class, just a couple grams higher with Saber Dragonis here with the Metal Face 2 Heavy. The thing is, the previous two combos have been pretty low. Here, I've gone with uh, GB145RF. This is more of a smash attacker, so obviously the smash contact is better on like a more similar height. I know uh, Narukami is also a smash attacker, but the wheel is raised on it. So it hits better on a lower height still. And uh, what was it? Uh, Kudge Logopon is also pretty much a smash attacker, but it is so small and light that it is better, in my opinion, to use it lower down so it, it has more grip to the ground. But this should be more balanced like a normal day and uh, still hit pretty hard. So let's go ahead and test that theory. All right, guys, so let's start off here right away with battle number one against uh, Killikin, Killikin Reviser. Jeez, can't talk. Let's go. Tuanko, shoot. And, of course, fumbled already. Tuanko, shoot. And a nice knockout right there, but ended up falling out right after. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is with Gravity Ball, hopefully we could activate a double crit sort of mechanic where the knockers in the wheel, you know, activate at the same time the balls hit outwards on contact. You don't go shoot. Also, the shape of Gravity Ball just suits the shape of the wheel. And a nice one hit knockout. I guess that crit acted right there, Act giving us two for two let's see if we got three for three and not that time got deflected right away after a little barrage of attacks which actually looked pretty cool to watch do two and go shoot and if i can launch go shoot oh looks like a bit of stadium flew off there the stadium wall i mean do two one let it rip and that one didn't count because i see fumbled launch Jesus, that one counts though, and that is a draw. So it is still two for three. I'll give it 2.5. 3.5 now. If it's a draw, I'll give them half a point. Don't let it rip. And a little rip. Ah, got self KO'd there, but there was contact, so it does count. So it is. Th uh, 3.5 out of 5 so so far it's winning the race we have uh, I think it was just a 1 out of 5 for Ogre Pond we got a 3 out of 5 for Narukami and now we have a 3 uh, 3.5 that's a 3.5 I guess for uh, uh, Saber Saber Dragonis so then for the penultimate round of this video, we're going to be bringing back Starfall. We've got Starfall Striker right here with the Golden Eldrago Metal Face. We've got CH120 RF. So this Bay is pretty good at both upper and smash attack. So I use CH120 so we could change modes at some point if the lower height isn't changing and focus on some more like uh, smash attacks coming from above hitting down on the Bay. This is, I want to note, a Mold 2 version of the Starfall wheel that should be lighter and a bit faster. Uh, it is around 40, 41 grams or something like that now, so this should uh, hit pretty hard. 
All right, guys, so time for battle number one of this matchup. Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. If I don't make the base bounce out of the stadium. Ah, oh, got countered very hard there. So zero for one, three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. A nice knockout right there. One for two. Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. Oh. Ah, oh, man. That was close. I was going to to say uh i was gonna try and do the content finger thing but then it made a huge collision but still ended up losing the match shoot. oh i charged up clean and now has a two for four don't go shoot and go shoot and no contact no points do one go shoot and go shoot and that that was an insane knockout right there jesus went straight for it a nasty barrage chased it out of the stadium too after it was defeated so very good performance on starfall we didn't even have to change height you know what let me just do one more real quick where i switch it to the taller form see if that affects performance somehow this does not count for the matches just because i forgot to do it to one go shoot and go shoot that didn't work. Let's do one more like this. Again, this doesn't count. This is just... How did that happen? <laughs> the heaviest combo I can make right now, just pinging itself directly upwards. Just... Alright, well, actually, technically, the heaviest would be with y Vang, but whatever. Cracking y Vang, I know. And, oh, there is a good knockout there. But, oh, never mind. It dropped during that match. Okay. So, looks like the 120 height is good for that bay, but uh, I was expecting it to do a bit better, but it, it still hit pretty hard. It still got a 3 for 5, so you know what? I will absolutely take it. So, guys, last but certainly not least, we see the return of the first custom bay I ever took a look at on this channel, and that is Penta Lyra. The metal face too heavy. Well, Lyra wasn't on this version, but we got Penta Lyra as a combo here today. Got the metal face too heavy. R145 RS. This is the really worn one that I was using earlier in the video that I had to swap out because uh wasn't performing exactly uh, defensive. This thing was moving super, super aggressive, so I uh, ended up swapping it out. I don't remember if I said that earlier or not, but whatever. Uh, this uh, it seems like a passive combo, but trust me, you guys saw how this rubber sharp was performing earlier. If you don't know the gimmick of Penta, I'm sure you could see it. It's got all of these hollowed out blades and then one big smash point heavy, heavy blade right here. Super imbalanced. Basically like Drawn Buster, you get one shot or, well, a couple probably, but you get one major shot to win or uh, uh, it just kind of dies on stamina. So let's see if it'll beat uh, Kraken here. All right, guys, time for battle one using Penta here. Three, two, one, go shoot. And if I can launch properly, go shoot. Ah, oh, a nice calculated shot from Maharaga, not Maharaga, Penta right there. That would actually be a really fun fight. Let me know if you guys want to see Penta versus Maharaga in the future. Uh, also, I gotta mention, this is the wheel made by Juni along with Saber. I forgot to say that for Saber earlier. I'll go ahead and link Juni down in the description below, as always, on his shapeways. Make sure to check him out. Two and go. Shoot. Jesus. Okay. That does count as a knockout, but it counts as an outspin anyways. Just completely nullified all stamina with one shot. Even if that wasn't a knockout, that is insane right there. Two and go. Shoot. And go shoot. Oh, and the same happened to it right there. So that is a... 
I honestly don't remember the score. I'm just gonna go ahead and do like two more matches. <laughs> I forgot what the score is already. Pretty sure it's... You know, I'm just gonna go watch the video rack real quick. Alright, this is battle four. So I was right. Two more battles here. Okay. Obviously not gonna count that launch. That was absolutely terrible. Holy... Shoot. I just kind of flicked the bay off the launcher rather than launched it. Don't go shoot. And that was just bad. <laughs> launched the bay on top of uh, cracking the live then. Let's go ahead. Don't go shoot. Oh, nasty uh, counter knockout right there. Two and go shoot. And go shoot. Again with just launching the bay on top of Leviathan. Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. And a nice final knockout. One clean shot. Knocked it right out. And that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know what you guys thought down in the description below. Uh, these metal wheels are not to be toyed around with, huh? Especially not Penta. This thing, you heard those major collisions. That, and you see this, this even more scars in my stadium after, unless that was there already. Oh, shoot. Finally, a crack in this stadium. I was wondering how long it was going to take for that. And right there in the middle, that is, that is a knockout point right there. That is where uh, Kraken just got hit into earlier, huh? Jesus, <laughs> finally some damage on the stadium. I'm surprised it took that long. I'm surprised it took Penta of all things, actually. But I mean, to be fair, it is Penta. So if anything's gonna crack and break a stadium, it is gonna be that bay. Shows how good this stadium is in terms of quality, though. That <laughs> it took a 63 gram, I think, or it's maybe not 63, but uh, just like a nice 60 gram metal wheel. I'm pretty sure it is heavier than Diablo. Took that to break this stadium and you see how like jagged sharp and like intense of a shape this is that is insane that it took all of that just to get one crack in the stadium to be fair again it is a massive crack it's like it's like touching the stadium floor almost it, it, i think it is but like still that is that is something wow uh <laughs> i'm just a bit in disbelief remember guys uh, check out basinbricks.com, use code MOIST for 7% off so you can get the Summit Stadium here. Uh, should be a great plug to show that it can withstand so much, including uh, Penta pinging things at Mach 12 into the wall. Uh, we've also got, you know, all the standard Metal Fight stuff, mid fakes or repros, whatever you want to call them. Uh, official bays, they got Burst, they got Plastic Gen, they got X, of course, all the newest, latest X stuff. And, this man, John Bazenbricks, is insane shipping things out at, like, any time of the day, I swear. I can make an order at, like, 4 a.m. in my time, which I think is around 3 a.m. in his, er, not 3, I think it's about 1 a.m. in his area. I made an order at 4 a.m. And he shipped it out same night. It was insane. Within, like, an hour or so after I had placed the order, so... Great services all around over there at basinbricks.com. Enough glazing of basinbricks. Remember to check out Juni as well. Two of his metal wheels were in this video. Uh, Saber and uh, Penta. You can get those over at his Shapeway shop down in the description below. And of course, shout out to Fox because he made the Starfall wheel initially. Well, he drew it. I modeled it. And yeah. Uh, anyways, guys, the playlist. So you could see more of all of the wheels displayed in this video is down in the description below. Of course, the custom playlist. And uh, I will see you guys next time.